Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I thought I would do a little haul because I kind of realized that I'm not really filming anything in between vlogmas videos so if you're not really interested in watching vlogs I figured I would post this video for you so that you can have something else to watch. So if you didn't watch last week's video I went to a studio wardrobe sale so I went to the Ian Drummond studio sale they do these sales very frequently I would say and they specialize in like TV and movie like vintage wardrobe rentals so you can imagine they have the most amazing pieces so I came home with a few little amazing pieces for for my wardrobe I'm really really excited about them so I'm gonna be sharing that as well as oh my god the thrift store has been blessing me lately and I just keep finding like the cutest pieces so I put that all together in this video I do also have two things from Etsy so basically it's like a giant collective haul so grab a coffee grab a snack because I can see everything laid out beside me and it's gonna be a very long video. So uh, yeah, definitely grab a snack. Okay, so starting out with everything that I got at the studio sale, I have these two bags. They're not filled to the brim or anything, but there are some really gorgeous pieces in here. Um, I do wanna mention a disclaimer before I actually show you guys everything. I did kind of collaborate with them for an Instagram video. So part of this was compensation for that. So just like to kind of make things very like transparent. Um, other things I did purchase myself, but some of them were compensation. So just keep that in mind um, when I'm showing you guys this. I'm just going to start trying things on and show you guys what I got. So starting with probably my favorite thing that I got at the Ian Drummond studio sale and it is this little 1940s matching set. So it does have a little jacket. Um, but first we have the little skirt and I am obsessed with this color and this is so soft. I love how flowy it is and just it just fits so nicely. Um, the waist is a little bit too big so I might have to get that taken in but other than that like on my hips and everything I feel like it just fits really really nicely. Um, so this is the skirt. I don't know if you guys can see the bottom it hits like a little bit past my knees and then this is the little jacket that comes with it and it is so soft like have you ever seen a more beautiful pink color i love it so much like how stunning is this it's so cute okay i realized you guys could not see the bottom of it so i kind of like tilted it down a little so you guys could get an idea of where it hits hopefully that's helpful <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the bottom part of this dress. I'm sorry, I really should have brought the camera down a little bit more, but I have like no more room right now. Um, so I ended up getting this cream 1920s reproduction dress and I have been eyeing this dress for like a year and a half I feel like and I just think it is gorgeous like it is everything that I want in a 1920s dress however this one since it is reproduction I feel like the benefit of it being reproduction is that it's like sturdier like I feel like it's not falling apart like a lot of 1920s pieces are and I wish I could fill my closet with 1920s dresses but unfortunately they're so hard to come by and especially in good condition to actually be able to wear them out. So seeing one that actually looks very authentic 1920s, but it's sturdier and it even has a little hidden zipper here for like, it's easier to put on. Um, so I really, really love it. I think it is gorgeous. I feel like it's perfect for like a garden party or something. I just need like a 1920s hat in like a pink tone to match the little pink flowers on it. Okay, so I also got this 1940s slip dress to wear underneath dresses. And I'm telling you, nothing is as flattering as vintage clothing like do you see the curves this gives me I do not have these curves this is just a dress like it just is so beautifully constructed it fits so nicely it just it really shapes the feminine form in a different way that modern clothes just don't and I am obsessed with it like this is gonna look so nice underneath dresses. It has all this kind of like lace here in like a nude kind of creamy color. Um, and then this is more of like a cream shade as well, uh, which I prefer over white. It honestly just fits like a dream. I have nothing else to say other than just, I love it. <laughs> Speaking of curves and the feminine figure, I mean, tell me this dress was not made for me. I love it so much. It's giving like Dita Von Tees in a dream world because I don't have that figure at all, but it just looks so gorgeous. Um, it's a 1940s cocktail dress and it has all this beading here in the pockets, which is really, really beautiful. And then it also has that same beading up here in the bust area. And I will admit, I feel like this is a little bit different for me. Again, it's sleeveless, so that's already one thing that I usually don't wear. And I feel like it's a little bit more, I don't wanna say revealing, 
because that's not really what I mean, but I feel like my usual style is very like girly and fluttery and feminine and frilly, I guess, in a way. So this is a little bit different, but I don't know. I really like it. I feel like it's actually really flattering. I love this kind of neckline on me. Uh, I think it's really, really pretty. It's kind of like a halter, but I don't know, just the way that, that it's constructed, I actually don't mind that it's sleeveless. I feel like it's actually quite flattering. Um, this is what the back looks like. I think it's really really pretty this would be perfect for like a date night or something like that or like some cocktail party I don't know I just I need to go to some form of event where I can wear this because this is not my usual like hanging out around the house or going out shopping kind of dress like I feel like I need like an actual occasion oh my god even the way that I'm standing right now I just it's the dress talking, you know what I mean? It's not even me. Okay, I know I'm super blown out right now, but you can kind of see the details a little bit more here. It kind of has like a, like a bathing suit kind of silhouette, like an old bathing suit. Um, you can see the little beading here, and then up here in the bust area. It's really, really cute. I had to zoom in so that I could show you something that I got in Stratford. So I went to Stratford earlier this week, so... I guess you guys haven't seen that vlog yet because it's going to be part of Vlogmas part three or week three. So sneak peek, I guess. Um, so I found some 1940s hair clips. I had to zoom in so you guys could actually see it better with the lighting. And these are so cute. The first one that I have is just like this very simple light pink color. And I think this is going to be really nice for the summer. Very simple. Nothing really that crazy about them. And then I found these two little like 1930s style little white bows and I thought they were really cute. I was just gonna get one so that I could put it on um, this side but then since there was two I felt bad leaving it behind because then what if I wanted to do one on each side or something? I don't know but I love this vintage packaging um, and then I got these two little matching clips so they're basically like an orange it almost looks like a bake light but it's plastic um, clip and then it has like a cream flower on it and I just thought it would be really cute to wear on each side um, So I got two of this one and then there was also another one that was a little bit smaller There's only one so I ended up picking it up anyway Just in case I want to have it on one side and I don't want something so bulky in my hair But then I think my favorite ones that I got are these ones. They are so beautiful They're all metal and this one has like little bows and I just thought it was really, really beautiful. Okay, so moving on to things that I got on Etsy. So I did get a skirt, which I'm gonna be putting on in a second. Um, and then the other thing that I got is a little heart brooch and I am in love with this. It's 1940s. It actually says 1945 on it and it's like engraved. So it has an HR on one heart and then the other heart has an LM. And I think it is the sweetest thing. Like I feel like this on like a sweater, kind of like the one that I'm wearing right now, I think it just looks so sweet. I love little small, um, little brooches like this, especially hearts. You guys know I have like a soft spot for any heart-shaped jewelry. So it doesn't even matter that it's not my initials or anything, but I just think it's really, really cute. And I'm hoping that this is somebody's grandparents' initials and they're, I don't know, that's just kind of like the story that I envisioned in my head for it. Okay, so this is what the skirt looks like and it's just like a black little skirt. It's really, really beautiful. It's 1940s. I don't know if you guys can see where it lands. <laughs> it's like, mid calf maybe um and what's interesting about this skirt is that it actually has this kind of like ruching at the back so it has like a bustle kind of effect to it i don't know if, well from the side it doesn't from the back you can kind of see the little pleats at the back and i thought it was so flattering and so cute very chic uh, I don't know, I really, really like it. I think it's very pretty and different from other things that I've seen. And I mean, you can never have too many just like nice fitting black skirts, do you know what I mean? Okay, so moving on to things that I got from the thrift store. And like I said, I have a lot of stuff, sweaters, tops, shapewear type things. I have two coats and then I also have some home decor pieces. So I'm just gonna get started. I'll start out with the clothing and then I'll get into the home decor stuff. So. I'm gonna put some stuff on. <laughs> Starting off with this little Christmas sweater. Is this not the most festive little sweater? And this is originally from H&M and I feel like this is probably from like 10-ish years ago only because the shoulders actually fit on my shoulder and I have major beef <laughs> with the modern like clothing companies because they insist on having the shoulder seam halfway through the arm and it is incredibly unflattering for literally every single person on this planet so I just don't understand why they keep doing that so I will happily wear this one because the shoulders actually fit and it is not an oversized sweater so that makes me really happy it's really really cute very festive it has the snowflakes makes me feel like I'm going on a chalet 
very like opera ski and I really really love it next up we have this gorgeous chocolate brown little sweater and I've been on the hunt for a brown cardigan for the longest time and I haven't been able to find one but I did find this sweater so I guess this will do and I just think it's really really cute it's originally from American Eagle and the shoulders are where they should be on my shoulders um, and it just fits really really nicely it's nice and slightly cropped which is great um, and I have so many skirts that are going to match so nicely with this sweater so I'm really excited and I just thought it was really nice I love this chocolate brown tone I think it's really flattering it kind of has like a vintage kind of feel to it even though it is modern because it is from American Eagle but yeah I thought it was really really cute so if you couldn't tell I've been like super into this kind of print like very wintry this one just reminded me of like a 1930s winter sweater and I actually found this at the thrift store in the kids Christmas sweater section but I don't think it's kids because the sleeves are just way too long even if it was for boys I feel like the sleeves are too long I don't know it just fits me perfectly so I'll take it and it was a lot cheaper because it was in the kids section um, but I just thought this was really really cute I love the tones it matches really nicely with the skirt that I'm wearing and yeah I thought it was really really nice I just I've been really loving this kind of like snowflake like print lately I've been looking for a scarf from this kind of print and I haven't been able to find one like honestly someone just needs to take me on a ski trip where I don't ski and I just like hang out looking cute drinking my hot chocolate because this sweater would be perfect for that kind of trip okay so then I got this little blouse and I thought it was really really pretty and normally I don't go for like very loud prints that are near my face but in this case I feel like it just kind of worked I really like this green shade and I thought the fit was really nice um, it's really really pretty it's like a forest green with cream and I just thought it was really nice and even with the skirt that I'm wearing I think it just matches really nicely perfect for like everyday kind of wear which I'm always on the hunt for new blouses to wear on like a daily basis um but I thought this one was really really nice and actually the same day that I bought this I also got this cardigan which is like a cream color and it's the same color as these little like butterfly type things on this blouse um, and I thought this was really pretty too, so I kind of paired them together and I feel like even with the skirt that I'm wearing, it just makes like a really nice outfit. Um, so it looks like this. This one's a little bit more oversized than the other ones that I showed you in this video, but I thought it was really nice anyway. And I feel like even like the pattern that's on the sleeves almost matches the pattern on the blouse. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. I guess you guys can't see the full outfit but I actually think it looks really cute together and it's gonna be really nice for like every day kind of like lounging around the house kind of thing and this one doesn't have any shoulder seams so I feel like it kind of solves that issue okay, I do have two summer pieces one being this one and it is like a cream colored blouse and then it has these like muted pink pinstripes on it and I just thought it was really nice for like everyday kind of wear in the summertime and I'm hoping to find a pair of like same colored muted pink shorts like how perfect would that be I don't know if the camera's even showing you that it has stripes on it I'll do a close-up if it doesn't but this is kind of like what I'm envisioning so I'm envisioning the pink muted shorts with this top and then I have like my little round sunglasses and then my little ice cream cone I think it's gonna be really really cute perfect for like every day lounging around like a very very casual day um, and I just thought it was cute I don't know I feel like I just need a few more simple vintage inspired pieces to wear like every day when I'm not really doing anything too crazy I mean how could I not buy this top like do you see how gorgeous it is I love it it's very feminine and it has so much drama and I, just, I really really like it and normally I don't like sleeveless tops on me I don't know I just I don't really find them very flattering for my body shape um, but in this case since it has all this like ruffling I feel like it kind of works because it almost acts like a little sleeve I don't know I just I don't really have a problem with the sleeveless on this in this case um, but it kind of has like a 1930s kind of vibe to it I just need to find like the perfect long skirt to wear it with and like a hat and like my little gloves and stuff and I think it can really make it into more 1930s kind of style look with this kind of top um, this one is originally from French Connection um, and it's really beautiful it's like a cream color and then it has these like black or like dark gray almost like bird kind of design on it So then I have this little trench coat and I thought it was so cute. So I'm always on the hunt for some more 1940s style trench coats because the ones that I have are more 1960s or from the 1960s and I don't really wear them anymore so I have them in storage. So I'm always on the hunt for some 1940s ones. I think it's really, really nice. This color is everything. I don't really have anything in this kind of green color. And imagine this with like chocolate brown accessories. I feel like it's just gonna like 
level it up so much more and I think it's gonna look really really cute um I do have to sew on some of the buttons there in the pocket here that I still have to sew them on but I thought it was really nice it also has this kind of like braided detail back here at the back which I think is really cute um, it also has the same detail here in the pockets so yeah I thought it was really nice then I also got this trench coat and this one is such an interesting color it's like a gray plum kind of mix I don't know it's like a very strange color and I thought it was so nice um, it's gonna be perfect for like the spring this one has this like brick colored buttons and I actually was wearing a beret that day that was the exact same color so um, it actually matched really nicely so I would probably wear it with this trench coat um, sadly you can't really see the buttons when it's buttoned up which is really sad because I actually do like the combination of colors but and then it also has the little belt to tie it. So it ends up looking like this and I actually think it's really really nice. It's a bit different from the things that I usually wear but I think it's going to be really cute for the springtime. Okay so I also have three shapewear pieces. This one is more of like a shorts kind of shapewear which I think is really great to just kind of like smooth out some lines for some dresses. I feel like some dresses can be a little bit more clingy so I feel like something that's just going to help shape the dress I feel like is really nice. So I have a couple of these um, so I got to this one um, and then similar to that I have this one which is like a bright green color and it's just really cool like I love this bottom part it's kind of like a light um, yellowy beigey kind of tone and this one actually has built-in little garter straps as well. Um, I feel like this is probably from like the 1960s or something but I just I really love the color weirdly enough because I'm not really a big like bright colors person but I feel like this particular tone is just very cool and then I have this one which is more of a full-on um I don't know what to call this it's like kind of like a bodysuit I guess um it does have a little bit of like a built-in bra as well which every single time that I find something like this the top part doesn't fit me because I am just not blessed in that department, so they're always going to be a little bit too big for me, unfortunately. So, I don't know, maybe one day I'll find one that actually fits me properly. But this is the only accessory type thing that I have, and it's very similar to one that I got at the vintage show, um, but it's like a smaller one. So it's like a little scarf, it's like a little knit scarf, and I've been so into like knit scarves lately. Like anything that kind of looks like homemade, and I love this. It's a little bit smaller than the one that I have, so it almost looks like a little collar. I think it's so sweet and I really really like it. It's like very feminine and dainty. I swear we are almost done with this video. I know this is a lot of things. I'm trying to go as fast as I can without rushing too much. Um, but now I have a few more home decor pieces. So the first thing that I found is this really really cute cream colored box that has little hearts on it. You guys know how I feel about the hearts. Um, and I just thought it was really really cute. I can envision two different things that I would use this for. One would be for like cute little notes and letters. I feel like it would be the perfect place to store them. Like imagine it just filled with like love letters. Uh, like I would actually cry. Um, that or I guess recipes if I don't have enough love letters to fill it with. Um, so I got that and then I also got a book and this one is Favorite Stories by Famous Writers and there are one, two, three, four, five, six different writers in here and this is from 1937 and I got this because it was like like only a dollar and there's also a photo of each author in here and I just thought that was just really interesting because it just almost makes it more real like I can envision the person that wrote it if that makes sense I don't know I just thought it was really cool and I was really interested in it so I figured it would be like nice little short stories that I can get through really quickly especially now during vlogmas that I'm like filming constantly so I don't really have as much time so I feel like something like this would be really great um and then I also got this so it's oh I didn't even take the price off this was two dollars in case anybody was wondering and this is like a little portable picture frame which I think is so cool I love this sort of thing I just have this vision of me like traveling with picture frames and I feel like that definitely stems from Titanic because she traveled with her picture frames I've talked about this a bunch of times on my channel but it's just something that is really interesting to me um so anyway so I got this and what's actually really really cool about this particular piece is whoever had this before had a photo in here that had some leftover um, like chemicals in the photo when it was developed because it must have been in the sun because you can actually see the photos still on this paper like I feel like it kind of transferred onto it which is so interesting um, so I love that detail on it um, so I'm probably just gonna put my own photos in here obviously I also love this like oval shape for like photos like it just kind of like frames it really nicely and you don't really see that very much these days you definitely see more square ones so yeah love that and it's really nice and portable so I can travel and put my little picture frame on the nightstand you know 
Okay, I'm gonna need your guys' help because I found this brooch and I don't know how to fix it. Um, so it looks like this, it has the Russian nesting dolls, which you guys know I collect and I love. So I love that piece, I think it's so interesting, but I hate the giant safety pin. I feel like it just doesn't really work for me, so I'm not really sure how to fix it. So either I can find like another little plastic like a little red bar that I can dangle them from. Or I was kind of thinking of maybe finding another brooch that has little dangling things and I can just swap them out. I feel like that would probably be the easiest way to fix it. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys in this video is this beautiful wooden little musical rocking horse Santa. I don't really know how else to explain it. It is just, I think my new favorite thing in the world. Like when I was in the store, I was like testing it out. So I like went in a little corner by myself so that I could hear the music. And I was just watching it like I was in a trance. Like it was just, it kept rocking back and forth. And like, I love it. I had it on my night table last night. And then before bed, I was just kind of like watching it rock. Um, I'll do a little clip of me now. Like I'll just, I'll record it with the sound and everything so you guys can actually hear it. It is so beautiful. I love it. And I love all the little wooden details on it. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I know this was a lot of items to show you guys, but like I said, the thrift store was just really, really blessing me lately. And then the studio sale was also amazing. And I am trying to do better for next year. I'm hoping to not do as much shopping next year. So I'm trying to kind of get it all out of my system before the year ends basically. Um, so yeah, um, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. I am still doing Vlogmas till the end of the month. So make sure you you guys are subscribed for that if you are interested in some vlogs um okay that's pretty much it i'll see you guys next time bye